All right, welcome back to this uh, video. We are going to be doing the Valley of Hell Extreme Dungeon. This goes along with the Extreme Dungeon of COF in the prior video. Here we will cover how to run this dungeon since it's a lot different from the past run. Like I said in the last video as well, this, uh, sorry, itch, this video, or this dungeon is a lot harder than the red ones back in the old school days or in before this patch came out. But uh, you can get the passes once again, the extreme life of death through the storyteller in Hefe once a day. Minimum requirement is going to be Heavenly Gate 1. So as for this daily dungeon, it's best to do. You can get your extreme weapons, which are really great to have. And you can get your new permanent bags that give you pretty decent stats for what they are. If you don't have the OP bags that are permanent, instead of your temporaries, these are a good supp supplement and or a nice addition to those bags. You can also get the Crying Gamma Bracelet, which is a pretty decent uh, mid-relic I would classify it as. Maybe a little higher than that. Relic to have. It's not a must, but it's a decent addition. <laughs> Alright, let's get this party on the road. You guys already seen that beginning like half a billion times, so not gonna worry about it. So in this room, you gotta kill those stone pillars again. <laughs> and what I found out is that when you're close to them, you hear. You can actually hear. Then producing that poisonous gas through the walls. So, like in between this part and this part, you can hear that gas. Or, like what I like to do is I come up halfway up the stairs. I don't need to see the, gla the gas. I just have that, and I can just automatically attack as a nuker. Makes a little less of a jog. Saved some time. All right, so we got those formations broke. Now, if you do have an, like an alt pocket healer or anything like that, I would suggest leaving it in this little hallway right here, and you'll you'll see why. <laughs> so we're gonna come out this way, and this is not exactly how you do it step by step, but it's why I like to do get the most material out per run. We're going to go ahead and use the AoEs on these guys. Take up the loot. And yes, before anybody asks, I do have a pet. I'm just really lazy on using it and forgetful. <laughs> that, and it doesn't pick up certain items. Well, uh, some items. Or it picks up a lot of un useful items. So here's the boss that you need to kill. Or a boss, I'm sorry. Spawns the little crippled one. Pretty easy to kill. Boom. Done. See that one for my little guy. So as many people will say is that the door never opened up here. Well, that's because with this one, you actually have to run back to the beginning. And in each of these little spots, it's going to be something that you have to kill. So say for instance, this guy. And so if we attack that, I'm going to grab that deco for my little one. 
Oh, oh, there's another one. And since I just saw it pop up in this dungeon, you can pick up your constitution, uh, ores, uh, I like to call them. And they're pretty decent. I have them all in my HG level 3 set. Just adds a crap ton of HP to my build. That will be changing as soon as I get more gold, but we can go over that when the time comes. <laughs> okay, so there's guys for you to kill, and then there's these rock piles that when you destroy give you these bad boys right here, vital and life pills, they increase your life recovery and your vital recovery. Nice little things to have while like auto skill training, if you do that. Or if you're low level, you want to kill that pillar back there that I just killed. There's going to be two sets of those. Alright, sorry guys, I'm currently moving my healer. Oh, and if you're running these dungeons, make sure you pick up your jades, or if you are outside the dungeon, and you see those jades, pick them up. They are going to be a crucial item when it's coming to these dungeons. I actually don't need that, so let's toss that. So if you're like me, you can actually skip the rock piles and go for the poison pillar. And then your second boss will appear. Scare the old one too. <laughs> and then you come back up this way, and there's going to be a lot more monsters for you to kill. And also, Another gate boss. We can save him for last. Like I said, maximize your material output. You want to kill everything around.
Sorry guys for a long video, but I like to be thorough. <laughs> so now the door is open, you can come across here. They are going to be these mini bosses that you gotta kill as well. Sorry guys, I've got a head cold coming on, so don't mind the sniffles. And I am using my healer as... Basically, a little extra damage, even though he doesn't do a whole lot of damage. <laughs> but what we got these guys just out there fighting out of. Like, the umpteen I've run of these dungeons, I've only been able to drop three of these excellent ones. They're better to have than your normal high one, if you want to sacrifice your defense for a physical and CK defense overall. But your main crafting things that you want to go for are going to be in your resource. Select either your black side or your white side map. And you want to craft these bags. They take the COF bags and your two new materials. Your auras and your Helsite. I probably pronounced that wrong, but I don't care. It's going to take a lot of your red jades. And quite a few hell beads. Get back to attacking. And then also, you go to create and select the map that you're on. And you can create the accessory that requires a lot more of the materials and jades and you can craft the ornament as well <laughs> and then here's the final boss it once again revamped HP and she still has two forms Going back into our create. So we got over that. You got your new deco. This is the best one out of all of them that you can get. No, well, not all the decos completely, but it's a pretty decent one to have. If you're a free to play or somebody who's going for like a certain build or whatever. But these are the weapons that you grow upon. You can get better weapons, or the best of the extreme weapons, right here. Which would also require a lot of materials. Now to save you guys some time, it is a long video, even though we're already 15 minutes into it. But I won't be going through the, all the three different loot rooms. 
and all the boxes, they give you relatively the same stuff. Regardless. That you can drop in here. And the main loot that you're going for is your auras and your well, sight. Like I said, probably mispronouncing it. But either way, where we're at. Alright, it's done. And that's all that there is to this dungeon. You guys, catch you later.